Hello YouTube! Welcome back to what is, very gradually, becoming a village. Look at that. We have, if my calculations are correct, five buildings in here at the moment. Six, if we count the well. I think it's starting to look pretty good. And I think that maybe this little fishing hut is starting to grow on me. It... Sorry, F5 walking is very difficult. Um, I think they might be a little bit too close and the fact that these two columns line up perfectly bother me a little bit. But I'm hoping that if we put the market stalls and things that I spoke about in the last episode out front, it'll hopefully be a bit better because um, then you might not notice it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I quite like it. I like where the village is going, and it looks pretty good so far. Now, as promised, today is an adventuring episode. And I know this episode is coming out a little late. Um, it was supposed to come out yesterday, Monday, for everyone. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have internet. I don't want to be at the mine. We didn't have internet at my house. Um, internet was down and we couldn't get it up. We logged a call with the supplier and everything and it took the whole day for them to get it going again. Only started working this morning but now I'm here and because I have the internet back I'm gonna record. Hopefully I'm gonna get two episodes recorded today so that you can have one bright and early tomorrow morning, Wednesday as well. Um, anyway yeah, we're going adventuring today. So my inventory is, for the most part, empty. I've got a bow to fight pesky blazes and ghasts with. Some arrows. Not a lot of arrows, unfortunately. I actually don't think that I have any more. I can come and check real quick. No arrows there. No. Okay. Those are the only places where I would have arrows, if I had any. I should really just go and build that skeleton farm. Remember we found the skeleton spawner when we were doing the zombie spawner? I should probably just go and build the skeleton farm. Um, but anyway, my inventory is empty except for the tools that I might need. Um, actually, I don't think I'll need the shovel. I might go and drop that off. Um, anyway, the inventory is empty so that we can gather up as much stuff as I can find. Now the intention of today is I'm going to try something a little bit different. We are going into the nether. We're going to explore the nether fortress. And if you anyone remembers, I think it was episode 2 or 3 when we built the zombie spawner. I went into the nether to get soul sand. And right there, I mean there was a chasm between me and it, but there is a nether fortress. Pretty close to where my portal opened. So I'm going to go and explore it. I'm going to see what I can find, maybe kill some wither skeletons. Because um, ultimately we do want a beacon at some point. Um, and just see what else we can find. Now what I'm going to try and do today is I'm going to record one long clip of me running through the nether, exploring it. I might not commentate through all of it. But the idea is that while editing this video I can just cut sections out of it that I think you guys might want to see. And then I'll put them together, mash them together, or whatever, paste them together to make a video of just little snippets. And this way, I don't run around the fortress not recording when something interesting happens. So yeah, we're going to jump into it. I've got a bunch of food with me as well. I've got another whole stack of steaks. And I think I have everything that I should need. I've got pretty decent armor as well. Um, oh, hello pigman. Hopefully I won't be looking for trouble with you guys. See, there's the nether fortress, uh, soul sand. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to get to it, but we're going to try. It should be close enough and find that I don't need to leave a trail. But, um, yeah, I'm going to dig around, play around do the Minecraft thing 
I'll probably end up cutting this video here, although I'm not going to stop recording it now. So if something does happen quite that's quite interesting, I'll just bring you guys right back. And then I'll see you guys whenever I see you next. Alright, I'm in the nether fortress. Now I do have some problems as my sword has knockback. So hopefully I can manage to angle it so that I don't knock any wither skeletons into that massive never-ending lake of lava. The nether gives me such anxiety, guys. I am a builder through and through. I enjoy building. I do not enjoy fighting the mobs necessarily, and I'm withered. But it does have looting 3 on it, so if anything, this is probably the best sword to do this with. Except for the knockback. Oh, hello there. Another one! And we're just gonna run around and do this. The idea was not to come looking for wither skeletons, but while I'm here I might as well. Um, I'm just here looking for some loot. Maybe I can get a brewing stand. I actually don't know if brewing stands generate in nether fortresses. Hmm. Well, it'll be interesting to find out. Here's our first chest of loot. Some iron ore armor, some iron. Hmm. It's not bad. It's nothing grand or spectacular. I've got a couple of extra sets of horse armor in a chest somewhere. Fair warning guys, I am terrible at directions and I might get lost very easily um, in a nether fortress. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially if it is an extensive one. But um... Hopefully it doesn't go too bad. Yeah, I don't want to be down there. Ooh, blazes. I really don't like blazes. I mean, if we can find a blaze spawner, that could be interesting. Might build a blaze farm eventually. But yeah, I think for now we're just going to keep running around. I'll bring you guys back if I see anything else that's intriguing or exciting. I came from here. <clears throat> See, I told you guys I'd get lost. I'm pretty sure I came from over there. So I can just... Let's see, if this chest is empty... Oh no, there's stuff in it. I don't mind the gold. Oh, another horse saddle. That is good. That's very good, because I think I only have one, maybe two at the moment. So it might be nice if I come across another good horse eventually, then that'll be very useful. That's a dead end. This looks new. I don't think I've been here. This looks like a dead end to me. Not anymore. Used to be one. Hello there. Ow. There's two of them. Oh, shit. There's a whole bunch of them. Whoops. Let's run away. Eat some steak. Come on. Eat steak. Stop hitting me. Let me just catch my breath. I don't think they're actually chasing. Oh, they are chasing me. Okay, so that was terrifying. Please don't let me die. Whew. I made it! I'm not dead. I'm not dead. What did I get? Two stone swords. Eh, it's okay. I think grand. That was... That was terrifying. I nearly sold myself. 
Nah, not really. Uh, it would not have been fun if I had died, but it would have been something to show you how I had died. So this is why I'm just recording this whole thing. I'm just going around breaking all of the chests I find so that I know that I have already checked that chest. Well, I, I don't find any chests that I've already checked and think that I haven't checked them and then I, that I need to check them. If that makes any sense to you guys. Anyway, back to it. Exploration. Magma cubes could also be interesting. I mean, use magma cream for enchanting, I think. I never, I've never really played with enchanting that much. On the server, um, a friend of mine has a little enchanting shop. And he has all the recipes written down there, so if ever I do decide to do enchanting on mm, my sandbox, yeah, I've elected to call this world my sandbox. Um, I think I like it. Anyway, if I do ever elect to do enchanting on this world, in this world, I can just go and get the recipes from his shop, I'm pretty sure. What? Oh, come on, it just bounced off of it? Okay, you guys saw that, right? That wasn't fair. Come on, I don't have that many arrows to waste on this kind of stuff. Anywho, back at it, there are a lot of wither skeletons around. Which is really good. I think. Ooh, a blaze spawner. Whoops. Okay, we've angered the skeleton, so the skeleton will chase us. And then I can go back and I can light up that blaze spawner to prevent blazes from spawning from it. It's the idea at least. Let's eat a bit. Recover my health. Okay, let's put my torches in my offhand. Hello blaze. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, hey! I don't like you very much. So many blazes. I don't like blazes at all. They are so annoying to fight, and when they float away, you can't hit them with a the sword. Did I kill the other one? I must have. Oh well. Okay, so there is a spawner. No, why did. How did you. You're not supposed to spawn now. I've lit it up. Hmm, maybe I misunderstood how that works. I mean, I'm pretty sure that blazes can't spawn at spawners if you light them up like that. Maybe I'm just a fool. Also, okay, they're definitely still spawning there, despite me having lit up the spawner. Um, I'm a little confused, but that's okay. I'll kill him, and then not go back there, ever, potentially. I mean, I'll probably go back, I might want to build a farm or something, I don't know. Well, I saw, I believe, that there were a couple of regular skeletons around here somewhere, and I might need to go about killing them. Because they might be able to replenish some of my arrows. Come on. Oh, okay, yeah, you you two kill each other. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy. Come on, get off the ledge, because I don't want to knock you into the lava. There we go. Yeah, my arrows are coming back. See, I think, and I'm going to try and do it, maybe I have enough netherrack to just build a bridge straight that way. Because that'll make it a lot easier to get back here in the future whenever I want to come and fight some wither skeletons. Because I'm going to need a beacon eventually in this world. I'm not certain when, or where, or why, but I'm sure that I will need one. Where does this go? Exploration! 
This one I suspect just runs into a dead end over here. There is something back there. Just some glowstone. Might be worth getting while I'm here and while it's so easy to gather. Let's get this as well. You never know, I might... That was a ghost block glitch and then I walked into it and it tried to kill me. Wasn't very friendly of it. Okay, but I might need quartz at some point, so you know what, let's get some. Ooh, hello with... oh boy. Wither skeleton. Okay, that's one. Whoa! Why are there so many of you? Nope, still no wither skulls. I've killed what? 15 of them now? And nothing. They're so mean. I wish they would be nicer to me. Give me some nice loot. Just do that. Oh, hello, big. Oh, no, it's two magma slimes. I, I thought it was a one big magma cube, sorry. Not magma slimes, just magma cubes. All right, back to it. I'm sure there's more of this place that needs exploring. Oh, I missed him. Ow, that one didn't miss me. Oh, he spawned. Where are you? You horrible, horrible little mo- mm. Why can they hit me? Okay, that's how I get back out. That's, well, that's how I came in. Hmm. Bloody despawning things. I actually think that I've explored the majority of this place now. not shoot a pigment everyone I wonder if blazes can aggro pigment and if they do do all of the pigment go after them like the skeletons that aggroed each other earlier that was quite interesting anywho let's keep at how do I get there I want to be there Ow! 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 Please don't shoot me off of the ledge. How do I get over there? Maybe I should tunnel my way there. This is probably a very bad idea. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Okay, so that oh, I missed the mark completely there. I wonder if this is a nether fortress that spawned, or well, two nether fortresses that spawned in on each other. Because this is very strange. I don't think I've ever encountered something quite like this before. This might end very badly for me. We're gonna. Ow! Give it a shot. See, that's exactly what I don't want to happen with a knockback sword. Let's eat. Let's get away from the edge. Eat. Because I knew you were gonna do that. Away from the edges. Come on, elementalist. We do not ow, want to be anywhere near edges. Edges are dangerous. That's how we fall off of these things. 
Nope, that was definitely a miss. That wasn't. I think this is a very dangerous place for me to be. Where? How did I get up here? This way. Ow! Definitely a dangerous place to be. Hello. Let's not shoot the pigman. Pigman, go away! I don't want to hurt you! I want to hurt that guy. I wonder if you can craft an enchanting... a brewing stand. That's the one I'm thinking about. A brewing stand. I haven't seen one in here yet. Stop it! I have to go and... You know, do the research. Where does that go? I'm pretty sure I have checked this way, but... I see stairs and... Oh, no! No, 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 no. I don't need to go there. Let's come this way. This is a very dangerous way to come. I'm just gonna do that. That was a mistake. That didn't do anything. That did something. Hooray! That got rid of some of the lava. It looks like it's a dead end and a drop hmm yeah just a whole lot of lava lake okay nothing too interesting then back the way we come I think that I've now quite thoroughly explored the entirety of this fortress so maybe I should start heading back I'll see if I can kill a couple more with their skeletons on my way, but I think that's it for this exploration session. Now I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some more time left in this video, so maybe I do a bit of building as well. That'd be kind of cool, right? Anyway, I am off back to... I'm gonna call it Civilization. Now I'm going back to Civilization. Hello everyone, we're back to civilization. I just finished editing that clip. Um, it took a bit longer than I thought to cut pieces out, segments out and to put and to paste them back together. I ended up being in the nether for about close to an hour exploring that fortress and I had a lot of fun. I think we managed to gather quite a lot of nice things. Uh, ranked from worst to best um, this is all of the loot that I managed to find in another and I'm pretty happy um, the saddle is great the blaze rods are great I'm ecstatic about the bones because I don't know I always find myself needing bones especially if I'm really into tree farming and I just wanna you know get some trees grown um, so that's a good start for some bones Although, building that skeleton farm with the skeleton spawner will probably be a better call. But, um, yeah, uh, we actually ended up not having quite as much time left after that clip. Um, so, unfortunately, there won't be any building happening in this episode. But I assure you, I will be building in the next episode again. That's going to be another buildy episode before the 
episode 10 special. Yes, I'm planning a bit of a special for episode 10, which hopefully will be, I don't know, enjoyable. But yeah, if you guys liked today's episode, it was a bit of a different one. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe for, you know, more videos. You know how it goes. And yeah, leave me some comments. I love to hear what you guys think. If you like that, if you like the little bit of music that I put in the background, I tried. That's my first attempt at putting background music in. But if you liked it, let me know. And then I'll see you guys later.